Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopist. In this short video, I'm going to talk about how to load a saved model and then continue the training process. Maybe you are not happy with your, I don't know, 1000 epochs and would like to continue the training, you know, uh, for 1000 more epochs. So there's no point in redoing it from scratch and doing 2000 epochs from scratch. Okay, so let's uh, jump into the code here again this is the one we've been talking about in the last few tutorial videos and in fact in the last one we uh, tried to understand the the uh, you know the or evaluate the model and for that we actually plotted the validation loss and our training loss and the validation loss is uh, jumping around it again there are many reasons for that maybe it is the training rate yeah uh, or maybe it is uh, the the batch size and a whole bunch of parameters and I don't want to dissect this at least as part of these video tutorial series uh, maybe a uh, another video where we talk about how to interpret you know these spikes uh, for example our inch instability in uh, the training versus the testing data sets but for now let's actually focus on how to take this model for example maybe I still have hope on this one on these parameters saying that if I train this for five more epochs let's say let's see how things look like so what do I do for that now let me go ahead and uh, paste a few lines of code and separate them from the previous line so you can kind of see where we are starting so first of all we did save our model let's remove everything there we did save our model uh, uh, as part of our initial training and you have to do that of course right i mean when you're training a model you have to save it and give it some name and now i'm going to take that model okay that model and i'm going to load it again okay from my hard drive wherever that's uh, loaded in fact wherever that's located and that's located right here malaria augmented model 2.h5 okay so i'm going to load that and uh, I'm gonna call, give it a new name called new model. And how are we loading it? From keras.models import load model, okay? And with that, I'm going to load this. And once it's loaded, let's go ahead and do that first, okay? So let's run these two lines and it should just take a second. Okay, there it is, it's loaded. Now, you can actually look at, I mean, if you don't know how this model is performing, you can just uh, uh, look at extract the validation loss and accuracy and then go ahead and print it out. And the way I'm actually extracting these values is uh, using evaluate generator. Or if you're not using generator data or augmented data, if you're just using your X and Y, you know, like you normally do, then it is just dot evaluate okay so again so my new model is labeled as new model and new model dot evaluate or in this case evaluate generator and validation generator generates these validation data sets and then uh, 16 of them and then go ahead and print this loss and accuracy so here it's 71 percent uh, 0.719 for loss and accuracy is 87.8 uh, uh, 87.7 percent okay so that sounds fine but uh, how do i continue this again uh, remember this model.fit so I'm going to do pretty much the same thing in fact if you want you can give this history equals to but that's fine new model.fit generator everything else is exactly the same okay except I'm only doing it for five epochs now instead of 50 epochs that's it and after this training I'm going to do model.save and give it a new name this is it this is as simple as it is let's go ahead and run these lines of code in fact we have already did those two so let's go ahead and run these lines of code Okay, so I just realized I made a mistake here. I should have done new model here. Okay, new model.save, which is still okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And now if you would like to check, let's go ahead and copy these lines to see how our validation loss and accuracy are after the training. Let's say our uh, new model evaluate generator. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and print this and uh, see what we'll, what we'll get. And again, now it's 83.18%. Uh, uh, again, I started to realize some of the mistakes I'm actually uh, 
um, doing. But then again, uh, this is part of learning process. So the accuracy did not get any better. I'm not surprised because if you see our kind of loss and you know is jumping up and down, so it can be anything right now. But hopefully now you learned how to actually save the model, load it, and then check for validation, and then kind of do more training, and then check for validation, and then see how things are actually going on. Now, the best way to do this process is to actually give a lot of epochs, like, I don't know, 5,000, 50,000, and then actually add an early stop condition and by monitoring whatever the parameter that you are interested in and then stopping it early and then uh, automating this process. But then sometimes even after that, we feel the need that, hey, I haven't, I should have chosen not just 5,000 epochs, but you know, 5,000 more. So this is how you can actually go ahead and continue it. Okay, so I hope you learned again something new and please subscribe to my channel. And in the next tutorial, let's cover a different topic. Thank you very much.